I have to say, if anyone deserved to score the winner for their, their club, it was Matt O'Reilly at Brighton. What a great goal and a great moment for him. Out injured so long after joining Brighton from Celtic. And they, they get three points over Manchester City. We'll get to that. But at the moment, we have Arsenal Invincible, Martin Keown, in studio with us at the moment. And I'm, we're simply putting out the question, are Arsenal flatlining right now? Uh, is it over? Nine points adrift of uh, Liverpool. Have they given themselves too much to do? Uh, Martin fighting back on, his, on behalf of his beloved Arsenal. But really, Arsenal fans have got to say to you, Martin, before we go to the calls, and I don't know what's coming with the calls, messages coming in, and they're virtually saying, yeah, flatlining is right. Adam's an Arsenal fan. The reality is we've been found out in lots of areas. Our squad is poor. Ill discipline is costing us. We will not be challenging come January into February. Um, many other messages coming in um, suggesting at the moment Arsenal have blown it. Uh, and we're, we're only only in November so could they turn it around by the time we get to Arsenal uh, by the time we get to January maybe they could bit of time to go but we'll find out because the calls are coming in thick and fast our Arsenal flatlining 03717 Lewis is a big Arsenal fan Lewis good morning good morning Jim how are you okay I'm good thank you mate thanks for calling what do you want to say yeah, enjoy the show, guys. Uh, yeah, I just want to say, I just don't think there's too much of an area of concern at the minute. Um, when you, when given the fixtures list, I mean, it's so important to build momentum and confidence so early in the season. I mean, we've had some really tricky fixtures. I mean, in previous seasons, we've built that confidence and we've built on it week in, week out. And that's probably what's given us the strength to progress throughout the seasons the way that we have recently. Um, whereas this time round, I think we've been dealt some really tough games, away fixtures as well. Keeping te- keeping eleven men on the pitch has been difficult, as we know, you know, discipline wise. But Lewis, did like... you think at the start of the season this would be the season you'd kick on? That no way at this particular time you'd be nine adrift of Liverpool or whoever it is at the top. Looking at the fixtures, I did have an inkling this could happen. I think that you know given that we didn't sign the striker that we desperately need, yeah. I did fear that this would happen. And I've been proven right. And I don't think that it's too much of a concern for me personally, because I feel like it's, you know, it's a 38 game season, you know, we're only a sure. 13 yeah. and there's still points to be made. And when I look at the games where, you know, Newcastle away from home, it's been a bogey side of ours for a couple of years now. We know it's a tough place to go to St. James's Park. Um, Bournemouth, you know, can't I can't make excuses for the performance there, and then we, you know, we almost won the game at the Etihad. So, I, as, as an Arsenal fan, I wouldn't say that I'm too concerned at the moment. I do. Okay, feel... fair enough, Lewis. Fair enough. Listen, thanks for the call, Adam. Another message. I love Martin Keown, but he's wrong here. We're not progressing. It's very early in the season, but to win the league, you simply cannot be nine adrift at this particular point in the season. So a mixed bag. Lewis is relatively optimistic, Martin. Adam is not. I wonder where Callum is. Callum, we'll hear from you and then we'll hear from Martin Keown in studio. Good morning, Callum. Hi, everybody. Good morning, Callum. Hello. What do you want to say, mate? I would just like to say that um, I do agree. Arsenal are five flat lines at the moment. Um, we don't seem like we're the same team as what we were when we batted Chelsea 5-0. We just seem to be asleep when we go into the final third. We can't get that last pass in. I mean, they weren't that far away from it at the end of the game, Calm. They could have won it had Trossard no, not no, nicked no, off Havertz's no, foot. No, 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 the goal was 10 foot high. <laughs> <laughs> Callum, listen, th- th- thanks for the call. Uh, Jason's a Chelsea fan who wants his say in this one. Jason, good morning. Oh, good morning. How are you doing? Good, thanks, mate. Go for it. Good. Yeah, um, I'm just going back to whether or not they're uh, progressing or regressing. I think it's just... I've, to be honest, they were, Arsenal were lucky with the regards to the injuries last season. Um, I, I could be corrected, but as far as I'm aware, they didn't really have a major injury like they've had this year with Odegaard and obviously we pointed out with Declan Rice's broken toe. But yeah, yeah. He's only played one game with a broken toe as far as I'm aware. Um, and I don't really think they've progressed that much. It's just been the fact that they've been lucky with injuries. Obviously, every team goes through them. Chelsea had a load of them last year. But fortunately, is coincided where they've all started coming back and as Simon pointed out now we've got these players back 
now you're starting to see the Chelsea that we was hoping to see last year. I think it's bad management that they haven't um, particularly strengthened their squad. You take out Saliba, they're in bother. You take out Declan Rice, uh, if you've got Saliba there, they're in trouble. They're too reliant on three or four players like Odegaard. And I appreciate a lot of teams are like that, but Arsenal don't have the depth in their squad. And I just wondered whether or not Martin thinks that um, the recruitment, considering everyone's digging up Edu, sure. could have been better during the summer. That's a good point. That's, good Jason, backup. that's a good point. Let's put that to Martin. Well, you just Martin took, they, they okay, did, look, he makes, makes clear points there. Fabio okay, so let's look, and just a minute, Jim, Just a minute. So Saliba, not available. Now Calafiori is available, but he's injured. Okay, so that's a problem. In midfield, Moreno has been been brought into the squad. He's an upgrade. I think he does well, but he was injured. So he's there's been a, an issue there. Okay, If you took Cole, Cole Palmer out of your team, you'd be just as ineffective as Arsenal are without Erdegaard. That's just in a nutshell, OK? You can't afford to be without that kind of player. What I will say about Chelsea, um, Cole Will and Fofana forming a really good partnership. I can see Cucurella, left-back, uh, Gusto. There's, these are proper players now. Casado now looking the part. Mm-hmm. That's this is Chelsea. A, this we're is, talking about Arsenal. I am just telling you yeah. what Arsenal were up against. They mm. beat them 5-0 last year, but this is a very different Chelsea this year. Yeah. Okay, Let's yeah. have respect but across we know the board. It's not a show about Kaysedo. Arsenal, is it? Yeah, At You want me to be is. collective? I'm being collective. Yeah. But yes, of course, Arsenal need to start winning games. The one area they need to improve, obviously, is in front of goal. That will probably be what they address next. But Jim, they need to win the next six or seven games. Otherwise, the whole thing is going to be over. Because Liverpool now are just sailing out into the sunset. Liverpool have been quite formidable. Whereas the mini-crisis at Man City at the moment they've lost two games four in the last four matches mm. when has that ever that happened before so you think Arsenal need to win their next six or six seven, or seven games and they, and they can do that and then and if you look in the month of December for Liverpool you will see some of those difficult games Arsenal have been away at Villa away at Spurs away at City Bournemouth now have beaten Man City and Arsenal at home so that has to represent a very difficult away game yeah Newcastle since when has it been an easy game for them? They haven't, they've won the last 13, 13 games. They've lost one at home. Chelsea away. Difficult again. But the bottom line is the you think teams, Arsenal are capable of winning the next six or They seven? are. They're going to have to be. Otherwise, they're not going to win it. And they can pull Liverpool back in. Well, even then, they need Liverpool to slip up, don't they? But in that period, Jim, they've got to go to Man, the likes of Man City play away. Yeah. Uh, sorry. M- M- yeah, Man City play away at Liverpool. In that period, they've got to go to Newcastle. They've got to go to Spurs. Some of the games that Arsenal have already played yeah. and have had difficulty with. Liverpool, though, now, Jim, they're in good form. They're, they're, they are really... They're, it's a breeze for Liverpool. It we shall almost, get to them. It almost seems easier, Jim. We'll get to the them. The way they've been asked to play in a more managed effect than yeah. they were in the Klopp way. Jim White. Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport